gentlemen, welcome to Intelligent Concrete. I'm John. I'm Brooke. That's it. Woo! And here, we're here to talk to you today about the handheld penetrometer. Not true. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, we are here to talk to you today about alternative supplementary cementitious materials prescribed by ASTMC 1709-18. Thanks for the support, Brooke. Brooke is going to be helping me do some uh, mixes. What we wanted to show you today was the critical path of sequencing and where these alternative supplementary cementitious materials fit in. What do you got to say for yourself, Brooke? Anywhere, anytime. It fits in upstream or down. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! That was so awesome! Can you take a minute to give us a, a quick spiel, two-minute shtick, elevator pitch, if you will, as to who you are and how you work with Intelligent Concrete? My name is Brooke Pesterts. I have been on board for about three months now as the office manager and um, putting up with John on the daily. <laughs> um, I've met Brooke 16 years ago. I think so. There's a cadet at the Air Force Academy. She was friends with my sponsor mom and dad's daughter. Uh -huh. So yeah, and then we were living here. And we, were you at yeah. Heimer Chiropractic? For a while. Yep, and then came to work for us and it has been Wonderful. We're going to be doing two mixes. A reference. We'll, uh, we're going to be sticking with this ASTMC 305-ish mixture. We'll show you when we're putting the June or the alternative supplementary cementitious material. We're using Juno XP by Surface Tech. We'll put a link below of where to find that information and the tests that we're going to do. Uh, these two: unit weight 400 milliliter brass. Uh, cylinder? Cylinder? Mm -hmm. What would you call this? Yeah. 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 Cup, sure. if you will. This mini slump cone, and we're going to do the same thing that we would do with the regular size, size slump cone, and we'll look at both the reference and the Juno XP, that alternative supplementary cementitious material. What's the acronym, Brooke? Yes. That is not... <laughs> yes. That, that is I don't know. ASCM. 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 You could shout it in your cone. ASCM! It's a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and kick the tires and light the fires in right. these mixes. Let's do it. So we're going to do the sequencing a little bit different from 305 in that we don't know how much water we need to put in because with the, the Juno XP we can actually, it was like the fly ash of old where you could use it like the, uh, almost like a poor man's water reducer where the ball bearings created this effect where you could yank water out and still get those same fresh properties. That's not what it's like today. So the, there it is. The Juno XP, that's what it acts like. You're gonna get a, a better fluidity or fresh property so you can yank out some of your water. And you should be yanking out some of your water reducer while still maintaining that gray concrete coming down the chute. The so, chute. so what we're gonna do is sand cement first. We're gonna meter in our water. Um, Put our high range in, then meter in our water till we get to the desired slump, and we're going to do that with both mixes. And that is a drastic change from the 305. Do you want to go get yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to shut that off, and we're going to get to it.
I'm Brooke. We did mixes. It went well. It went well. It went well. So what we found is, so we had somewhere around 280 grams of water and we subtracted out 12.8 grams of water and literally we're right on with the slump, right? 5.6 yeah. centimeters. So the unit weight was considerably different, but... The slump was about the same. Per, it was. Yeah. I mean, that's the most important part. That's one thing that you have to recognize with your alternative supplementary cementitious material is whether or not it has a cementitious component to it. If it doesn't have a cementitious component, instead of keeping the water content constant, you have to keep the water cementitious. So that's what we saw today is we reduced the water content to keep the water cementitious ratio constant. So many tongue twisting yeah. things. Um, but the biggest thing was the maintenance of our slump. And that's what we find with the Juno XP is that we can have that gray concrete coming down the chute while maintaining our fresh properties as well as our hardened properties. So how did you enjoy? Very much. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for asking. No, I always like working in the lab. It's fun, very interesting. Um, it's kind of amazing to see that even when you uh, change things up, but add in the right special sauce. Special sauce. There it is. So you've got to tell them what happened. With John handed me the dropper. Um, I was in another conversation, a little bit distracted. While we're doing mixes. He said, what did you say? Focus up. Focus up. I thought you said fill this up. So, I, uh, I get it. That makes sense. Why so you did So, I um, squeezed the dropper to remove the air and um, squeezed out the contents of the dropper. Into the water. But it all got added. It all got added, so. No harm, no foul. Learning experience. That's what it was. That's what it was. A learning experience. And it was an awesome. Yeah. Awesome learning yeah. experience. So, thanks for joining us today. We learned a lot. Um, we got to see a new material. Oh, the point I want to bring up, the sequencing. It was easy to sequence. Oh, yeah. We threw the Juno XP onto the sand, through the cementitious. Mm -hmm. It did its job. Yeah. Got the same amount of revs, didn't change up the time, right. did we? Nope. Mixing time was the same. same. Yeah, everything worked out really, really well for us. So, yeah, if you ever have any questions, any concrete concerns, put them in the uh, area below. Um, am I missing anything? That's it. That's it. Bye. We got to go break some stuff. Go concrete! Beat asphalt. No.